Philippines is a beautiful country. Because I think the Philippines is a beautiful country. But what if all the things that make the Philippines beautiful is thrown right out of the window because of a simple problem called waste? Because if you take all of the waste of the seven largest landfills in the world and dump it all in the Philippines, we will be walking neck deep in trash on the way to work or school and contract diseases such as malaria and cholera. But in the midst of this, this is where the companion comes in. A compost can with a mission. To eliminate waste at its roots and to empower people to redefine composting one piece of trash at a time. So the companion is a solar-powered compost can which turns biodegradable waste into compost through a process called hot composting and non-biodegradable waste is melted down into reusable pots. All the user has to do is to segregate, segregate the trash first and put them down their respective chutes for processing. The companion is 1 meter by 0.5 meters in size and takes about 30 days to compost and 1 hour to melt down the non-biodegradable waste. So we're going to need a budget of 30,000 pesos per unit and a team of professionals to start this project. But let's go back to the problem. What if I tell you that you could save the Philippines from being engulfed in trash? Because with the companion, you could do that. With 12 cycles a year and about 5 kilograms of trash per cycle, you can eliminate 125 kilograms of trash per unit every single year. But that's not enough incentive for someone to go out and buy the companion, which is why we're going to make it an investment. We're going to get interested buyers, workplaces, and communities to give an initial deposit of 15,000 pesos. We then take the fertilizer and reusable pots that they produce and sell it out in the market. With the profit, we give back 40% for the initial deposit and we keep the 60%. We then, once the, the initial deposit has been finished, they being paid off, they will still earn an annual profit of 2,800 pesos every year. We can even make this into a larger scale with our larger model of 4 by 2 meters we will be able to eliminate the cost of garbage disposal, land area for land, uh, land uh, landfills, and be able to cut down the cost of fertilizers down to a cheaper price for our farmers. And if we get 10,000 units sold today, in two years' time, we'll be able to get back a profit of 74 million pesos. With this, we will be able to complete the, comp the mission the companion has set out for us, which is to eliminate waste and to empower people to redefine composting. Because remember, the composting can, the companion, is not just a compost can. It's an economic plan to redefine composting and to get rid of trash in this world. Thank you. It is the inconvenient truth. The alarming depletion of our resources is the inconvenient truth. The inconvenience, 1.9 billion tons of coals are being burned every year for electricity and coal plants. Just recently, it was foreseen that in 17 years, our fossil fuel supply will be completely exhausted. However, there is an old saying that goes, every problem has a solution. Undeniably motivating. However, to our corporation, begs to differ. We believe that every problem is a solution. Our working theory, only consumerism itself will solve the very problem it causes to Mother Earth and society. We have found a new way of renewing energy from vibrations, mobility, and pressure. Piezoelectricity. Every single day, SM Megawall has over 150,000 people walking its hallways. That's the number of people in this room times thousands. And so accommodates an average of 300,000 cars. Imagine, 1,000 cars for each one of you. And the EA continuously sustains numerous planes landing and lifting off its runways. You, coming here, are using energy. A number of people dancing Zoom by the other room are using energy. And I, standing here, muster encouraged to pitch our product and using energy. Mobility is energy. Put them all together and we can renew all energy spent into usable, consumable, organic, green energy. Pressure produces energy. Piezoelectric plates will help us harvest mechanical energy produced by people consuming and spending energy. As long as people are active and mobile, this electrical farming industry can be sustained. At the height of an increasing advocacy for Mother Earth in this century, Tor Corporation opens a creative and uniquely productive avenue for you to invest in. 
with their partnership and a 50 million investment, we can complete a proof of concept. A 90 foot ship of road built with piezoelectric plates to convert all mechanical energy produced by its consumers to produce 100 kilowatts of electricity to power an average of 40 houses. With Morocco and private establishments as our clients, we can, we will be selling pressure plates for 50 pesos each, inclusive of consultation and installation, at the cost benefit of 3 cents a kilowatt hour, 2 cents less than the 5 cents per kilowatt hour cost of fossil fuel and super energy. A limited resource at the low cost. Ladies and gentlemen, our need for energy grows exponentially by the day, and this new mindset and innovation solves our biggest problem yet. With your trust, we commit to developing new ways to convert problems into solutions. The pressure is on. Ms. Gonzalez, Mr. Gamboa, and Mr. Dulay, we present to you, to our corporation, Piso Electricity, Power Under Pressure. One of the things that I hate the most is when we experience brownouts, because I suddenly find myself with a lack of things to do. I can't watch TV, turn on the computer, I can't connect to my friends via Facebook or Twitter, I can't even use my phone that much, since I might waste energy, and then I can't use it in case of an emergency. See, the thing is, the lack of connectivity and electricity is a major inconvenience in one's life. And it's sad to think that there are entire areas in the Philippines that have neither. You have cities like Tacloban and Leyte, where connectivity and electricity has been taken from them. You have remote villages who haven't even heard of electricity, let alone cell phones or the internet. You have soldiers living in military camps far away from their homes, whose only way of communication is letters. Yes, these camps sometimes have electricity, but they are powered by harmful gas burning generators. We believe that the future lies in connectivity and clean energy. If we could supply the Philippines with clean energy and connect and unite the nations together, we could well and truly say we are now living the future. Enter Jupiter, the airborne wind turbine. Jupiter is a wind turbine that is unique to the fact that it could fly 1,000 feet up in the air, harvesting winds five to eight times faster than the ones you experience at ground level. Jupiter surpasses in height every wind turbine that is now in existence. Jupiter, once reaching maximum altitude, not only supplies clean energy, but also services like Wi-Fi, cell service, data coverage, and local weather data. Jupiter is able to fly thanks to its inflatable body filled with hydrogen. Jupiter is very mobile and flexible, being able to be deployed in many different types of areas, disaster zones, remote areas, military camps, even in the middle of the ocean. With just $35,000, we could provide the Philippines with connectivity and electricity, our vision of the future. Yes, the future is not yet here, but with the help of Jupiter, we might just be able to fly in our futures, to grab it with our own hands. And so, one question remains. Will you come and fly to your future in the sky? Thank you. One day, air is going to be a luxury. The number of asthmatic Filipinos, 10.7 million. Lung cancer is now the number one cause of cancer-related deaths in the Philippines. And according to Forbes.com, air pollution is the world's biggest environmental killer. In fact, the Environmental Protection Agency says that our indoor environment is two to five times more toxic than our outdoor environment. These realities triggered my group to come up with this device. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Sky Sentry. The Sky Sentry is a household device that cleans the air while floating in your home. The Sky Sentry forces air through filters, trapping small particles, and it has a porous material that absorbs harmful chemicals. A factor that separates the Sky Sentry from other products is that it cleans the air while it's flying around your house meaning it maximizes and maintains cleanliness of air quality throughout your entire home. 
and it was also made out of recycled materials. The target market are the middle class households in Metro Manila, and we are going to sell our product on our website for 15,000 pesos. Our vision is to incentivize the sky century by filing a bill requiring schools, business establishments, government offices, and hospitals to have sky centuries. We require an investment of 800,000 pesos for 40% equity of our company. Very little effort is given by private business ventures to do something about our air. The market needs the sky century. On your end as venture capitalists, think of it this way. You're investing in something that has strong market demand, a necessity that only the sky century can provide, and that's clean air. So I want everyone to breathe. It feels good, right? Now every, every time you notice yourself breathing, ask yourself this question. What if this is the last time I get to breathe like this? And I want you to know that with the sky century, you never even have to think about asking yourself that question. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Nicole Chan representing Ambulance. On behalf of my team, we would like to thank Enderan for giving us the opportunity to present what we believe is the next bright idea. Ambulance, the lighting of the future today. Now with today's technological advancements, radio frequency or RF energy from mobile phones and radio transmitters crisscross the surrounding air even as I speak. Now what we have achieved is to harvest that free energy as a source to serve a very basic human need, lighting. Thus was born ambience. Now we have turned ambience from concept to reality by harvesting and converting RF energy into electrical energy to power LEDs. It's an alternative energy product that requires no electrical power to operate. There's no carbon footprint making it environment friendly. Now the closest comparable product would be the solar powered LEDs, which can only harness power during daytime when sunlight's available. Now on the other hand, because of our modern day, round the clock, demand for connectivity, RF energy has become pervasive, day and night. It's the first of its kind in the Philippines and perhaps in the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about innovation at its finest. Now we initially targeted 25 million residents or 6 million households of Mega Manila as our main market. High electricity rates, dense concentration of mobile phones and power failures will definitely make Ambience an attractive product. Now an indirect marketing approach will be used with one intermediary level by tapping large retailers in order to build brand recognition and establish market presence. Direct marketing will also be used through online selling. Now in addition to our very own website, Infotech, Trimedia, and social networking will be extensively used to promote our product. Now our low production costs enable Ambience to be priced competitively against other similar products. Our feasibility study shows a projected income of nearly 400,000 pesos with an initial investment of 1.2 million pesos based on our first year target sales of 36,000 units. Now we plan to reach 80,000 units in the first five years with a 20% increase per annum in order to earn more than 8, 2 million, 2 million pesos. Lastly, for our corporate social responsibility, we plan to donate 5% of our profit to calamity hit areas. We will also be launching a Light the Way program where customers who buy our products online to donate to the less fortunate Filipinos will be given discounts. Thank you and we'll be glad to entertain any of your questions.